了。What's up guys? Average Sniper here. How y'all doing this morning? Or whatever time it might be that you're watching this video. It's morning for me here in Florida. That's where I live in case y'all didn't know. I don't know. I'm not too afraid of people stalking me. Maybe if I was a girl I would be. But I think it's okay for me to tell you guys I live in Florida. <laughs> it's hot. This is like living in the swamp. And uh, it's really hot. I'm sitting on my back porch right now with my laptop doing this commentary. And it's only 7.55 in the morning, but it's already almost 90 degrees. Okay, I'm exaggerating. It's like 85 with a lot of humidity. The humidity is what kills you. But uh, enough talk about where I live. What did you guys think about that intro clip with the flying Jeep stuff? That was crazy when that happened. I put the C4 on the Jeep specifically to blow the tank up. But I had no idea it would go <laughs> flying through the air like that. That was totally insane. I was just, and, and when it happened, I was just like, oh my god, that was awesome. That was awesome. Well, guys, this whole uh, video is going to be clips from the live stream I did yesterday. Um, I live streamed for almost three and a half hours yesterday, and it was the SRR 61 challenge. You see, and yes, the SRR 61 is my favorite sniper rifle in Battlefield 4. I'll get, I'll get more to that later. Um, I checked my Battlefield stats and I realized that similar to what happened to me in Battlefield Hardline with the MAC-10, the G-18 was listed as my favorite weapon. And I thought, now hold on, I have way more sniper kills than I do with the G-18. But the problem is, I use the G-18 on every single class. So while I might have, I don't know, let's say uh, 20,000 sniper kills combined and only like, what, five or 6,000 G-18 kills, it's still listed as my favorite weapon because none of my sniper rifles um, have that many kills. In fact, I think it's more around six or seven thousand, somewhere between six and seven thousand, I believe. Um, I could be wrong. I could just be remembering. I need to. St I need to check my stats. <laughs> but the point is, um, I needed several hundred more kills with my SRR 61 so it could pass up my G18 for the most kills. So I started live streaming and joined a hardcore server, which turned out to be a really good server. Uh, not Sometimes you get in a server where people are just dicks. You'll have the guys that just wait for the boats and the helicopters and the tanks and they won't play on the ground. But this server, everybody was playing good. Um, for the most part, the scores were uh, pretty even. There was a couple times we demolished the enemy team and a couple times when they demolished us. But it was it was very fun, even when, when our team was getting demolished. I was getting a lot of kills. There was a lot of people playing the objective. It was great. It was, it was, it was just really good. And um, um, I guess let me get to the main point of the video. Sorry, my mind kind of spaced out there when the, when the screen transitioned to Dawnbreaker. The SRR-61 is my favorite sniper rifle in Battlefield 4. I have the most kills with this sniper rifle than any other sniper rifle. Why is it my favorite sniper rifle? Well, there's a lot of reasons. One, and probably... Look at this first. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> no scope. Boom! Oh, man, I just jumped right in between those guys. That was... Uh, how epic was that? You know, that is that not why we play this game? To, you know, for those random epic moments? I mean, it's not the only reason, but that's got to be one of the big ones. Those random moments of epicness. I should start a YouTube series called Random Moments of Epicness and have you guys send in clips, if you would be so kind as to do so, <laughs> so I can feature them. Which would kind of be like every other YouTube channel does, the top five or the top ten or whatever. Random moments of epicness. What do you guys think about that? Let me know if you'd like me to do something where uh, you send in epic clips and I pick like five out of the list and then talk about them and have people vote on them and be totally generic like every other YouTube channel. But I still think it might be fun because everybody loves those top five things. So let me know. Random moments of epicness. Jazz hands, if you watch Archer. <laughs> um, so the SRR-61, my favorite sniper rifle. Reason number one, because it's super smooth. 
Now, you, m you might be like, yo, that's bullshit. I know why this is your favorite sniper rifle. It's because it's the intervention from Modern Warfare 2. That's why it's your favorite sniper rifle, average sniper. Well, I'll have you know, Mr. Smartass, I'll have you know, or Mrs. Smartass, whoever you might be, that I never really used the intervention in Modern Warfare 2 when I used to be a big Call of Duty fan back when Call of Duty was good. Um, I always used the Barrett 50 cal. I was not a bolt action sniper back then. I was a semi automatic, take them out with one shot. And I still like to take them out with one shot, but a uh, Barrett 50 cal user. And that was my shit, if you will. That was my shit. So the fact that this is basically the same gun from Modern Warfare 2's intervention uh, has nothing to do with the reason that I like it. I just like this gun a lot. So reason number one I like it is smoothness. Uh, reason number two is it has very high bullet velocity. It's very fast. And reason number three is because uh, I believe, and I could be wrong, um, out of all the sniper rifles I've used, I feel like this one has the least bullet drop. And I could easily figure this out by just checking out the, the stats on Smithic, Smithic, some shit like that, dot com. Um, but I hardly ever do. I just like to play the game by feel because sometimes the stats are off. Like, for example, I believe the SR338, not the 338 Recon, but the SR338, um, one of the only semi automatic sniper rifles in Battlefield 4 that you can put on a class, uh, says it has higher damage than the other sniper rifles, but it actually takes two headshots to kill in core. Now, there's no sniper rifle in core other than the SR-338 that takes two headshots to kill unless it's a DMR. So, the damage models and the stats I try not to pay attention to, and I try to just feel out what works best for me, and that's always worked out for me in the end. So, back to the SRR-61. Reason number one I like it is just because how smooth it is. I love the smooth feel of the scope coming up. I love how the scope looks as it comes up. Um, it's it's all a big package deal for me. So I like the smoothness of it, and um, I I like the high bullet velocity, the low bullet drop. And if you when I put the six times scope on, I just feel like it's the perfect combination for me. Now this next reason might seem a little foolish to you maybe just a little foolish to you uh, but I also like it because of the bolt action animation and I know that hardly has anything to do with the gameplay unless we're talking about the speed of it like how fast it is and let's be honest the SRR 61 is not the fastest gun for uh, performing the bolt action to put another bullet into the chamber it is not the fastest gun to do that um, there are other guns that are faster. I believe the JNG-90, CSLR-4, uh, M40A5, uh, Gold Magnum, FYJS. I believe all those guns are technically faster. But for me, it's not always about speed. It's about accuracy. And the scope sway on the SRR-61 just works for me. Like all the other sniper rifles, um, I feel like I have to concentrate more. But the SRR-61, it's like I don't even have to concentrate at all it just it it just it just feels natural and i think that's really important when you're sniping is to use a sniper rifle that feels natural maybe for you it's not the srr 61 maybe it's a scout elite which might um it's debatable but it could be the worst sniper rifle in battlefield 4 um maybe it's a cslr4 heck maybe it's the m98 which is probably the slowest bolt action um packs a lot of punch but it still is not going to hit those one shot kills in core unless you get the headshots or unless you're really really close and they're not wearing the defensive perk so all those reasons are why I like the SRR61 and please don't ask me to repeat them because I probably forgot half of them already <laughs> but um, let me go back to the bolt action animation thing I, I guess I never really clarified that I just like the way it looks and you might think to yourself well that's stupid that's not going to help you in the actual game but it actually will, because from a psychological point of view, the more you like and enjoy something, the better you're going to do with it. If you're using a gun you don't even like in the first place, and that's going to affect your performance with that gun. If you're using a gun that you like, regardless of the reason you like it, you're going to feel more confident about it just for the fact that it's natural to you and you like it. So 
it's regardless of the reason you use a gun, even if it's for the sound that the gun makes, which I used to think was the dumbest thing in the world when people would tell me, oh, I like to use this gun because, you know, the sound it makes is so loud and, and badass. I would think, that's just stupid. But now, I don't think that because I realize it doesn't matter the reason that you like the gun. What matters is that you do like the gun, and that's going to have a big impact on your gameplay. That's going to be the difference between... Um, getting 10 kills in a match and getting 30 kills in a match. Maybe not that dramatic, but you know what I mean. If you enjoy the weapon you're using and it feels natural to you, you're just going to do better with it. And th and that's just all there is to it. Well, guys, uh, game this gameplay has about a minute and a half left. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Uh, you can see I, I stole that mobile AA and sat a whole bunch of people down and uh, thanks to everybody who watched the live stream yesterday who participated um, in the chat and who participated in joining the actual game I really appreciate that guys I'm not always in the mood to live stream honestly sometimes I'm in the mood just to play by myself and sometimes I am in the mood to live stream and be social and talk with people in the chat I don't usually have a microphone on the weekends when I live stream because my girlfriend is over and I think that's just kinda rude um, when she's sitting right beside me and I'm talking to other people all day long. But during the week, I do have a microphone. Um, and when I live stream, I will be talking. And you will hear foul language uh, coming out of my mouth every other word every time I get killed. So be prepared for that. I don't have a live stream schedule yet because, like I said, sometimes I just am in the mood to live stream and sometimes I'm not. Maybe there will be a perfect night where I could live stream where I have like three or four hours of free time just to play the game. But I'm in an antisocial mood. Hey, it happens. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Later. Later.